Good evening, I'm Shogun Mohammed, and this is the 7 o'clock news. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a telephone call from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, congratulating His Royal Highness on his recovery and performing his duties. The custodian of the two holy mosques wished His Royal Highness abundant health and happiness to achieve further progress and prosperity for the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Saudi monarch expressed pride in the strong relations between the two countries, wishing Bahrain and its people continued progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation for the noble gesture of the Saudi monarch, wishing him further success in serving the Islamic and Arab nations. His Royal Highness asserted that Saudi Arabia, under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, is the main supporter of all Arab and Muslim nations to maintain their security and stability. He stressed the depth of relations between the two kingdoms, wishing Saudi Arabia and its people further development and prosperity. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman Tawfiq Al Mayed. His Highness affirmed that Bahrain's many achievements in the youth and sports sector thanks to the support of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, contributed to its international advanced position in youth and sports levels, regionally and internationally. He added that the government, under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, is consistently working on its program to develop and advance this sector. His Highness noted the strategies of His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has provided an environment of creativity and contributed to the promotion of various sports. His Highness was briefed on the plans and programs of the Ministry by the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, which aims to develop the sector. The minister also praised the efforts of His Highness in supporting the youth and sports march. The custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, received today the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Muhammad Al Khalifa. The minister conveyed to the custodian of the two holy mosques the greetings of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, extending their wishes for his health and wellness, and to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its brotherly people, further progress and prosperity. The custodian of the two holy mosques asked the Minister to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and affirmed his appreciation for the solid brotherly relations between the two countries and friendly people, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed Bahrain's pride in the deep-rooted brotherly relations with Saudi Arabia, which is growing stronger due to the unwavering support of His Majesty the King and the Saudi monarch and their keenness to coordinate and consult on various issues, which further embodies the two countries' distinctive brotherly relations. The minister also affirmed that Bahrain has long chosen to stand by Saudi Arabia for its belief in the unity of destiny and objectives between the two countries. He noted Bahrain's appreciation of the fraternal positions of Saudi Arabia and its historical and supportive role in preserving the unity of the Arab nation and enhancing solidarity among Islamic countries. He also highlighted Saudi Arabia's significant role and influence on the regional and international arenas, making it an essential pillar of peace and security in the region and the world. Sheikh Khalid stressed Bahrain's support of the role of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques. He also affirmed that Bahrain's solidarity with the efforts and contributions exerted by Saudi Arabia, which is further developing in various political, economic and security levels. The minister highlighted the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's crucial role in activating and developing joint collective action, combating terrorism in all its forms, supporting regional and international security in all its various frameworks and mechanisms, and overcoming the growing challenges facing the region in order to safeguard the security of its countries and the stability and progress of its peoples. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, met today with the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Adil bin Ahmed Al Jbeer. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs affirmed that brotherly relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia are of great interest and special priority for the two countries, making it an example of brotherly relations, which is based on solid foundations characterized by communication and friendliness between the two countries and their peoples, which witness prosperity in all fields. The minister noted that the exchanged visits and continuous coordination between the two kingdoms reflect the joint keenness to develop relations in all fields, reinforce Arab interests, and establish peace and security in the region. For his part, Elij Bayer expressed pride in meeting with the minister and hailed the strong relations between the two kingdoms and the bilateral cooperation they witnessed in all fields, wishing Bahrain further success. The meeting also exchanged points of view on regional affairs and the two sides affirmed the importance of supporting the Arab cause and activating joint Arab work to preserve security and stability in Arab countries. They also affirmed the importance of confronting Iran's serious policies of hostile interference in the internal affairs of Arab countries and its support for terrorism in the region. The meeting stressed that necessity to abide by what was agreed upon in the consultations of Sweden to reach a political solution between all the parties in Yemen based on the GCC initiative and its executive mechanism and the outcomes of the national dialogue and the relevant Security Council resolutions, in particular Resolution 2216 of 2015. On the Qatari crisis, they stressed the importance of Qatar's commitment to the Riyadh Agreement, its executive mechanism, the Riyadh Supplementary Agreement and the demands made by the four countries to end the crisis in Qatar. The joint coordination and exchange of views on upcoming regional and international meetings were also discussed. The Minister of Foreign Affairs toured the headquarters of the Saudi Ministry of Foreign Affairs and visited the Ministry of Communication and Information Technology and signed the Register of Senior Visitors. The Minister had earlier arrived in Riyadh today where he was received by Adel al -Jbeir. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, inaugurated the Technology and Legal Affairs Innovation in the Middle East and North Africa Conference in the presence of a number of senior officials and more than 150 participants from various ministries, government agencies and legal institutions. The minister noted that the legal profession used to be classified as a traditional profession which cannot benefit from recent technologies, although technology has a great effect on legal affairs and it's used by experts and attorneys for many tasks such as legal research. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, inaugurated the third edition of the Middle East Refining Technology Conference today, which is hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain and organized by the World Refining Association in cooperation and coordination with the National Oil and Gas Authority. And with the support of a number of international oil companies and consultancy in the field of oil industry and refining. The opening ceremony was attended by a large number of national, regional and international oil companies, petroleum consulting companies, technological industries, experts, specialists and directors of companies working in the field of petroleum refining. The minister expressed thanks to the government for its efforts and its keenness to provide the highest level of support to the oil and gas sector in Bahrain, as well as hosting specialized oil events in support of the national economy and sustainable development that Bahrain witnesses under the leadership of His Majesty the King. He valued the continuation of the World Refining Association to choose Bahrain to host the third edition of Mertek. The minister said that the theme of the conference this year came to meet the desire of participants from various countries of the world, which included more than 450 participants. The NOGA is working on implementing the general policies for the development of the oil sector in Bahrain in cooperation with its oil companies and its partnership with the private sector by implementing a number of vital oil projects. The minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the organizing committee of the conference, the advisory body for their outstanding efforts in preparing the meetings of the conference and all those who participated, wishing them further success. The Minister of Oil inaugurated the accompanying exhibition, which included a number of national and international oil companies, during which he met with the representatives of various companies. This conference is focused on uh, refining technologies. The process technology uh, continuously upgrades. We have newer specifications that are more environmentally friendly. And as Babco embarks on its expansion, uh, we are gathered here to find out what our technology suppliers have done, uh, what the latest in uh, process technology is, uh, how to protect the environment, 
and how to increase efficiency in general. And this is why it's important for these conferences to happen. And uh, it's always important for our managers in the oil and gas sector to come and uh, interact with the industry. And we're happy to, uh, to host these events here in Bahrain. Bobco is hosting this premier event, which is the Middle East Refining and Technology Conference, which comes in such an important uh, timing that where Bobco is undertaking not just the biggest investment in its history, but also the biggest investment in the history of Bahrain. This conference uh, comes in the protein time. As you know, uh, Bobco is embarked on the biggest investment in its history and the biggest investment in the country's history. And we take advantage of many of these technologies that you've seen here today uh, to help us be competitive for the years to come. We run downstream events all around the world. This is the third time we've run MERTC in Bahrain. It's our flagship Middle East event. And the planning for this, uh, it, it's all year round. Uh, we make sure that we get the top officials from Bahrain, uh, from the region and around the world that come. And also there's the suppliers, there's the technology providers that work with refiners like Babco that all come to talk about the latest technologies here as well. It's very important to keep the community of the region together and uh, uh, give some awareness of what's going on in, in the technology, especially in, today in the digitalization world. What does it mean? What is the impact in the work processes? And uh, I think it's a key, it's a key event in, 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 the, in the country and in the region as well. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid bin Rashid Zayani, affirmed the partnership with the private sector in the leading and distinct tourism projects, one of which is the diving park that was announced by the personal representative of His Majesty the King and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, reflects Bahrain's economic vision, which asserts the private sector's effective role in the economy. The minister has stated that the launch of this unique project for diving enthusiasts and those interested in environmental tourism in partnership between the Supreme Council for Environment, Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Diyar al and a number of private sector institutions will be an important addition to the kingdom.